Hmm. A very, very long time ago, in the vast, beautiful land of Toadstool, where Toadstool people made their Toadstool homes, they lived prosperous, peaceful lives until something disastrous happened. An evil reptile by the name of Koopa, whose dark desire was to have this land for himself, decided it was ripe for the taking and invaded, leaving destruction in his wake and enslaving its peaceful inhabitants. Our hero, the intrepid and determined plumber Mario, witnessed the calamity. He couldn't just sit back and watch. He had to do something to stop it. You know, I ended up getting 100% in uh, Plumber for All Seasons. The reward for doing so is very disappointing. But it was a very good hack nonetheless. Hmm. They're really going all out with this story, huh? I've never played Breath of the Wild, so I'll just have to take your word for it. I think I might have heard that, though. Yeah, they gave him the... Um, the red overalls. What's this music? Hub. Welcome! Select save. This is how you save your game? Glad I checked. Huh? Oh, okay. Oh, I guess this is how you switch files. Sure, maybe. Alright, what's the deal with this hack here? He's got the Mario 2 colors. Which I think he also had in Super Mario Bros. Super Show. Nah, I'm not gonna go for it. Wee. If it was a Mario 1 hack, I'd be a little bit more interested in coins and lives. What the? Huh? Was that like a keyhole or? All right, weird. That'll take some getting used to. A red one already. All right, must be the Switch Palace. Whoops. I'm not sure I checked how big this hack is. Actually, I think it's big. Okay, so you don't get to store an item. Whoa. Hardcore is near. Oh, right. I need to keep an eye out for a secret exit. Anything here? God, fucking... I wasn't even pressing right. My world has terrible physics. There was a mushroom here, I'm sure of it. Yeah, there it is. Slippery ass physics, my god. Right here, this has gotta be it. Uh, excuse me? Huh? What the? What the hell? They had me thinking I found a secret exit. Hmm. Not even if I get all the, uh, blocks. Alright. 
Not sure what that was all about. It's a weird hack, if I'm being honest. Well, couldn't find the secret exit, I guess. <clears throat> we'll just have to check later. Maybe it's not something I can get yet? Maybe I need a special power-up, like a cape or something? I'll take another look before I end the stream. That's how I always handle secret exits. Oh, by the way, I just checked and no, no uh, spin jump. Oh, good. I mean, a lot of Mario World hacks use a lot of uh, Mario All-Stars assets. So I've kind of gotten used to that. Yeah, because, I mean, like I said, it doesn't have spin jump. That was it, huh? Mario. Nice Yoshi's Island music. Hmm, I wonder if there even are any other power-ups besides the flower. Probably not. Oh, they go at different speeds, huh? Close one there. I see that. How do I get up there? Wow, would you look at that? Excuse me. Is there... No? Nothing? I'm surprised, honestly. No, no more blocks, really. Alright. Very strange. Hmm. <laughs> possible without the fire flower? Do I just jump on his head or what? Yeah, okay. That's actually much easier than trying to use fireballs. Nice to see a boss actually have a health meter for once. I don't think I've ever seen that in a Mario hack. Yeah, that's kind of cool. No, she's island music. I think I heard it had like 12 worlds, but I guess the worlds are kind of small. What up, Kuja? Yeah, it is uh, it is new. It's called Mario Forever. I'm unclear if it's saving my progress or not, but I guess we'll see. I should probably check Yoshi's house again at the end. The bosses have health bars. 
Whoa! 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 What is this? I can shoot two at a time. What? Wow, okay. Guys, what is this? Like some kind of weird potato? I guess you got her just in time, Kuja. Rut row. No, I don't want that. I want the potato. I wonder how many power ups. Probably just these two. The color seems just slightly different. Nope, no idea how to get up there. Yeah, I wanted to stream the last couple nights, I just couldn't. I think Thursday I was just too tired and yesterday I, I didn't have time. Oops. I always forget not to skip those. I'm not getting rid of this potato voluntarily. What is this weird power up they came up with? <sighs> yes, son. Oh, I thought I was going to hit him. Whoops. Wow, didn't hit anybody. Well, only died once so far. Yeah, it might not be a very long stream. Um, just however long I feel like playing this, and then, um, other than that, I just got some old Mega Man hacks I feel like revisiting and trying to make more progress in, but there's no guarantee any progress is going to be made. <clears throat> Mario 64 music. Wah! Nah! Is the potato a different color in this stage? Oh no. Let me guess, the flower goes away? Yes, sir. I bet I need the potato to get the secrets. Yeah. Oh, you can't even pick up the shells. Damn. It's pretty bare bones. It's a bit odd, but... It's mostly okay so far. Except for that weird mysterious room. That probably had something to do with the secret exit. In, in World 1-2. Thank you! Woo! Remind me again what kind of cereal you eat when you when you get back if you hear this. Alright, naturally it being the, the beginning of the game, we're just flying right through. Chocolate Toast Crunch. That sounds like something I would probably try. I always get excited about chocolate cereals and then they end up never really being my favorite. Like, I begged my mom to buy me Count Chocolate as a kid. Or maybe it was Cocoa Puffs, I forget. And she finally bought it, I took like one bite and I was like, yeah, I don't want it. <laughs> Ooh, potato though. Witness for yourselves the difference. Yeah! Hmm. I don't know, it looks suspicious to me. With a brain flush. Can anyone tell me what they think this looks like? I'm calling it a potato, it doesn't even look like a potato. Some kind of root vegetable? I don't know who comes up with this stuff. 
Welcome to the chat, Rainflush. Already done with World 2, I'll be damned. Not so much, huh? Regular Cinnamon Toast Crunch is like one of the best cereals. Oh yeah. I'm not above cheating through a stage, oh g goodness. Oh! Damn! Oh, cripes. Here we go again now. You know, you know what, let me take the low road because now I need power-ups. There's no way we're getting anything like that up there. Yeah! Taters! It can come in handy in a room with like a lot of enemies, I guess. Okay, don't go through that pipe. Ninety-nine, huh? Uh, let me guess. I'm supposed to go down one of these, and it's all trial and error. I'm not going down those pipes. Screw that. I'm just gonna keep going. Just not gonna go down any pipes. <laughs> Maybe a berry. It's probably more likely a berry than a potato. Fuck. Oh, that's great. Alright, no one bites the dust. So far, this is a hack I would play. Mm-hmm. Ah, another stage with a secret exit. Keeping out for a secret exit. Oh god. Aha! Uh -huh. I just killed two with one fireball. Never mind, there are no stocking items in this hack. Right, being generous with the one ups at least. Again, couldn't find the secret exit. There's something I really don't understand about finding secret exits in this hack. I'm just gonna keep playing for right now. Whoops. But always when I watch myself 
play, like if I watch my own video later on, then I'll understand, see it does nothing, exactly how to get the secret exit. I could play it by myself again later, I'll have no clue, I'll watch myself play it and I'll be like, oh, there it is, and again, no spin jumps. This is Mario Forever, that's the name of the hack. Did I play Mega Man Forever? I don't remember. I have a bunch of Mega Man 3 hacks I probably want to look at after this, and maybe even a little bit of Mega Man 2, but we'll see. I don't have a whole lot planned for today. I'm not even sure how much time I have. Like, I might only have like an hour or so. Or I might have a couple hours. At like the most. Sometimes the stages feel a bit short. The stars scare me. It reminds me of Starman stage. gotten one star so far. I wonder if I wait for it to go down and I walk through this if he touches the tape? No, okay. <laughs> Am I supposed to like do anything other than touch that weird keyhole? Unclear. Mm, it's not gonna go through any of the pipes I guess. Is the color changing? Ah! Ah! Oh wow. That is gonna get me, isn't it? There was like, it came out of nowhere, didn't it? Oh no, it didn't. I didn't even see him. Okay, I can actually see which ones are gonna do it now. I can tell by looking. That was stupid. <clears throat> At least they give me that. Maybe going on a pipe wouldn't be so bad, I would get a power up. This stage is not my favorite so far. Oh my god, how? God fucking damn, I jumped! What the hell? Goddamn Mario World physics. I 
Are there like any checkpoints in these stages? God fucking damn it. I'm gonna try a stage one more time and then that's it. I'm already losing patience. It just feels like I have an input delay. Or like he keeps running after I stop running. Which has kind of always been the case. I think I'm just more annoyed by the physics of Mario World in general. Oh god damn it. At this point, just be impatient. I got lives, so who cares? It does get a bit too dark, I will agree. Seriously, the last time. I'm just very increasingly becoming not in the mood to deal with this stage. Which is fine. It'll give me something to look forward to next time. This is it. I don't think I see myself uh, trying again after I die here. We may try like some of those other stages. Um, that I couldn't find the secret exit on. Hey, Lightbox. I gave up yet again in 4-Job Fiesta. What the hell? I didn't even see that. Should've come down earlier. I got to the Grand Avis and I just couldn't beat it. I did take uh, the advice from the 4-Job um, Fiesta Discord and just uh, switch to Beastmaster and then run up. Fucking damn it. Oh god. I think maybe one more try. I caught a behemoth, I ran away. Um And then uh You know, I got the to statue, I got the soft thing from the guy. And I used it on the fellow, and then I fought him a couple times. And my party just could not handle it. Like it's a grand Avis, I think it is, with like two dark matter wisp things and uh they just keep casting white wind and he revives them after they die fuck sometimes they come out like way ahead of time and sometimes they just don't come out until you're like right under it Stage has some really trolly enemy placements. Ugh. I can do this. If not, I will switch to Mega Man 3 hacks very soon. So, Light, are you near the end of your second run? I know you mentioned you were, like, getting really far. I don't remember if you said that you were in, like, uh, endgame side quest territory yet or close. I'm, I'm really bummed about, like, the bonus dungeon. It's so much less fun than the Final Fantasy 4 and 6 bonus dungeons. 6 had the best one. This time I got this. This time I just gotta be careful. Woo! Alright. What's up there? Let me guess, it's Bowser. I guess he, it's the same fight every time. He's got like the same health. If I die, I swear to Christ. Did 
That was very close. I would not been happy if I had to redo that. <laughs> Guess maybe we'll play for a bit more then. Whoa, there it goes. It's kind of worth it just to see what happens to these castles. Ah, more Yoshi's Island music. Uh oh. Okay, easy. Oh, there, there's just Mario hacks are just evolving so rapidly because there's just so many of them. And there's just, like, so many assets that the creators have at their disposal. Mario hacks, like, for Mario World are, like, probably years ahead of, like, just about any other kind of ROM hack, I'd imagine. Of course. Wow, still alive somehow. Only four lives left. I'll be damned. Oh god! Oh good, diagonal scrolling. That doesn't bring back traumatic repressed memories. No! Oh god! Oh, Phoenix Tower, nice. Okay, good, this one doesn't fall down. Yeah, it sounds like you're getting ready for the rift. I've been really tempted to start up another four job fiesta this year, but even though I don't really have much else going on right now, I still kinda of feel like maybe I shouldn't like play the same game back to back. I should just be glad with like the seed I got dealt this year and just leave it at that. I had a lot of fun playing 5 though. I, th I would even say I had more fun playing 5 than I've had playing 4 recently. Perhaps even 6. But it could have had a lot to do with the jobs I got. <laughs> okay good, this didn't fall. What up Shadow Chili? This is Mario Forever. It's interesting. The stage has been going on for quite a bit, being an auto-scroller and all. Mm, there... Uh, for... If you mean 4Job Fiesta, it's not something you download, it's just a website. You can play any version of Final Fantasy V that you want. I'm choosing to play the Steam version. The old Steam version, which is leaving the, uh... <coughs> the Steam store on July 27th along with Final Fantasy 6 and they're leaving the uh, like they're leaving the um, Google Play Store as well on the same date um, you know since they're mobile ports as well as the mobile ports of Final Fantasy 1 and 2 in the Google Play Store those are all leaving on the 27th
And I considered getting uh, one and two on um, on mobile just to have them because they're only eight bucks each. And like I played the Game Boy Advance versions and I really enjoyed them. And I hear that they're based off the PSP versions, which were even slightly superior to the Game Boy Advance versions, especially cosmetically. But I asked around, um, see if anyone knew how they really compared. And in one Discord I asked that question and I was told that um, they're, the mobile ports are based on the PSP versions, but they have like some kind of ugly graphical smear across the sprites. I'm just like, well, I mean, if I want to get them on PSP, they're like 40 bucks a piece. I'm not the biggest fan of two. Cat, get off the keyboard! I'm considering getting three, but I definitely won't get it unless it's at a discount. Even then, like, I'm not really sure I would play it at least anytime soon. What I've been doing lately, just kind of off stream for fun, is I've been playing, um, the After Years. What, did I just drop down there? Okay. I'm playing the 3D version of the After Years. I've played it on Japanese cell phone, I played it on PSP. Now I'm just going through the 3D version just in my own free time. Bad user interface and horrible music loops. Wow, glad I brought that up here too. So yeah, maybe, maybe the Pixel remasters have justified their existence. So it makes you wonder why they wouldn't get the extra content. But I mean, again, if I'm really being honest, like you know, you can kind of live without the additional content at least in Final Fantasy V for sure. Shit, I tried to run it across and I couldn't. Like the four new jobs, I've never had any interest in using. You get them so late. And as soon as you get them, you get these, like, text-based tutorials on how to use them, which are, like, you know, they make my fucking head spin, so... Oh, God. Maybe we don't finish this stage today. Modern remakes? Yeah, I mean, like, high-budget modern remakes? It'd be hard not to get excited about that. But, you know, with modern remakes, they always tend to, like, Make the systems way more convoluted than they'd ever been. I don't know. I'd rather just play ROM hacks. As I would recommend to just about everyone else. Oh god! Guess don't go that way, huh? Now what? Can I get a mushroom? <laughs> Oops. Alright, we'll try one more time. And again, I was really happy with the Game Boy Advance versions, but I never played um, the original like NES 8-bit versions of any of the first three Final Fantasies. I played Game Boy Advance for um, 1 and 2, I played DS for 3, and I beat them all. Oh yeah. Come on, end of the stage. Shortcut. On mushroom. Yes. Oh yeah. Still going, huh? Just don't die to Bowser. Or I will rage. Oh damn, he's got a lot more health! That's new! Alright, I did good. Man, that Game Boy Advance remake of FF1, I know they took a lot of, like, liberties with it. But man... Like, that was a really fun game. I was not expecting to enjoy Final Fantasy 1 that much, I'll, I'll be honest. Final Fantasy 2, I still love the story and the characters. 
And I love the uh, bonus content in Final Fantasy 2. That might have been like some of my favorite bonus content in a Final Fantasy game. Well, I will say six is uh, is really up there, and four is actually pretty interesting. You just it's just they got kind of got to keep going through the same dungeon multiple times. Well, since I'm not really slowing down, I'll keep playing for a little bit. I only have two extra lives left, so if I die w without getting another one, I might want to go back and make sure that uh, I'm saving. Wow, it's nice how each stage has a uh, new music, or each world, I mean. Yeah, because some of these bosses like take like 10 or 12 hits, and sometimes they only take like you know five or six hits. So I really appreciate having um, a health bar. It's gonna spoil me. Oh yeah. Don't even want any more coins. Ooh. Okay, the fireball didn't come down. Ah, haven't seen any of those yet, have I? Whoa. this here make me a little nervous not gonna lie what the fuck all right that's it 